Hello and thank you for watching my videos. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. On this video, we are covering new topics added on the CCNA course 200-125. This is section 2.3, device management. Upon completion of this section, you should be able to implement NTP or network time protocol on ISR, integrated service router. So setting the system clock. The software clock on a router or switch starts when the system boots. This is the primary source of time for the system. The time should be synchronized across all devices. And we can do this with the command clock set. Now one of the first commands I run with my students is to have to set the clock on the device. It's a great command to see the help menus and all that. But if you do set the clock in per device, it's not scalable. So you have to go to each device and the clock is never going to be synchronized. So a better solution is to configure network time protocol. Network time protocol or NTP enables routers to synchronize time settings with NTP servers. NTP will use a UDP port 123 and is documented in RFC 1305. So it's unreliable protocol, UDP port number 123. I don't know if you're as old as me, when we wanted to know the correct time, we used to phone, we used to dial from the phone, from the phone line, we used to dial 123 and then a voice would come up and it will tell you the exact time and you would synchronize your clock with that. So the port number is still 123. So NTP can be set up to synchronize to private master clock or it to be synchronized to public available NTP server on the internet. So NTP network uses a hierarchical system of time source which, in a level, uh, which each level is called a stratum. The stratum level is defined as a number or hop counts from the authoritative source. Stratum 0, for example, is the authoritative time source. Strat stratum 1 is directly connected to the time source. Stratum 2 is connected to stratum 1 device. Stratum 3 is connected to the source from a stratum 2 device and so on. So for example, authoritative time source, like GPS clock, is a stratum 0. Then stratum 1 gets the clock from stratum 0. And as they are synchronized, other, others are getting from the another stratums. So each time you're getting the clock from somebody else, you just add one stratum. So the show clock detail display the current time, uh, current time and time source. So for example, let me just go. This is this is our lab that we've been working for this uh, bridging materials. So I have four routers here and some switches. But if I just go to one router, one of the routers, I'm I'm in R6. I'm not on any of these routers. If I say show clock, for example, which is the command I ran here, show clock, and you can see it says September the 3rd, 2015. Well, we are now in the March, 3rd of March, 2017. So we are two, <laughs> two years behind on this clock. So we can set the clock here by saying clock, and the only command you can do in the privilege mode, you don't have to go to global configuration mode. Question mark, and we have we can set it, set the time and date. So clock set, question mark, is how they want the time. So they want hour, hour, colon, minutes, minutes, colon, second, second. So we have put, uh, for example, it's 2.46.00 zero, zero at the moment. And then we can put first day of the month or month of the year. In United States, you put month of the year. In here in UK, we put day of the month first. So it's the second of March. 2017 2017 so I think it's just gonna three letters it's gonna accept it so now it says okay well system has been clocked update system clock has been updated but this is not scalable so I have to go to every router and do that a better way to do it is to set the NTP server so for example show clock here let's see the clock here's here is correct okay let's just go a bit more in the future yeah so let's say clock set um, I don't know, let's say 1446, uh, let's say the 2nd of March, um, 2020, 20, wow, we've gone three years in the future. So show clock, that's our time. So if I go to router 2, control shift 6 and X, show session, router 2 is number 2, so I go to 2, I say show clock, here is behind. Well, it's correct, but behind the root of one. 
So what we want to do is root to one, we want to make that as a master and then everybody else synchronize a clock from the root to one. So we have config t ntp master master and then we can we have to tell the stratum number. So we can't say zero because that's authoritative clock. We can just pick one. So let's say 10. Now, as, as these guys that get the clock from root to one, they're going to increase one stratum. So stratum 10 and show clock detail. This tells us, okay, well, that's the time. Um, no, this is from 2000, 2017. So if I go back to root to one and show clock detail, and this says, okay, well, this is the time and it's been synchronized from well, user has configured it. So if I go to router two and I we made router one. Ah, sorry, router two. We made it as a master. We need to go and back and change that. I want router one to be our master. Yeah. So config t ntp master ten. And I go to router two. Control shift six x. I'm just gonna remove that command. So no ntp master. I need to tell NTP server, where is my NTP server? Well, it's root of one. So I can tell either this address or this address, as long as you can ping it. So 10.1.12.1, that's the server. I can I can continue adding other commands, but this is enough. I can CR, enter. Now to see the clock, show clock, it still says 2017, still has not synchronized. So show NTP association, Right, so we're still in initializing state, and we have we set to be synchronized from this address. This is a router one. Show NTP. What can we do here? So status as well. Show NTP status. Clock is not synchronized. It says, and stratum is sixteen. No reference clock. Okay, so we wait a few seconds here. Show NTP. Show clock. Still not synchronized. Okay, let's go and do the router three, and root of 4 and come back to root of 2 and see if it's, if it's synchronized so we don't have to wait so root of 3 um, the root of 3 is going to get the clock again from root of 1 so ntp server 10.1.12.1 and then we're going to do the same on the root of 4 so control shift 6x go to root of 4 ntp server 10.1.12.1 okay go back to root of 2 and see if it's synchronized. Show clock. Yep, root two has synchronized. So it says now, yeah, it's March the second, two thousand and twenty. So if we say show NTP association, so we can see that reference clock is, is from root of one. The stratum ten, ten one twelve. So this is what telling you what the root of one is getting the clock from. Um, show NTP status. So we can see that now it still says clock is unsynchronized. Okay, it's been updated. It should say clock synchronized. Okay, let's go to root of three and do show clock. See root of two, uh, root of three is they all updated to 2020. Right? So show NTP status. Yeah, for root of three it says okay clock has been synchronized. Stratum 11. Because stratum 10 was root of 1 and reference 10.1.12.1 and yeah, to synchronize the clock is very very like small packets and so on um, so here the clock is now if I say show clock it's exactly the same as root of 1 so this is root of 2 then if I go if I can do the side by side which I can't you can see them it's exactly the same so 10.50 few seconds after well after we run the commands wasn't as fast to go okay let's go to root to two and see it uh, show clock 2020 yeah show ntp status uh, you can see the root to two is synchronized now as well so stratum 11 and it's synchronized from this address what about root to four show clock of course they all will be synchronized now. 2020 show ntp status Yep, it says clock has been synchronized, stratum 11, reference 10, 1, 12, 12. Now we can say that this is our server, but he's, he can be server for router 2, router 2 can be server for router 3, and router 3 can be server for router 4. Um, 
So uh, you can see, okay, go to router 2, for example, and say config t ntp master, and we're now 11, because you can't say 10, because it's synchronizing from router 1. So ntp master 11. And then you can go to router 3, and say, okay, config t uh, ntp server, you can say 10.1.23.2, which is this address here. And then it's going to synchronize from router 2. Let's get the, uh, the address 12.1 off yeah so we take that off so no and and show clock show ntp status is it, you just have to wait i think it's about it takes about uh, 60 seconds to get this uh, going um it's gonna synchronize but now 10 11 and i'm expecting this to be 12 and then you can do this 13 and so on so if i go to Router one show NTP status because it is synchronized stratum ten. If I go to router two, show NTP status. This is stratum eleven, and router three should have stratum twelve. Show NTP status. Okay, you saw how it works. Yeah, I just don't want to waste your time here now. Okay, so if we continue. Show NTP association and then show uh, uh, NTP status. We we'll come back to that and see. Next, S1 is configured for NTP. Notice the clock on S1 is not synchronized with R1. We just did it. R1 is a Stratum 2 device and NTP server to S1. S1 will become the Stratum 3 device and can provide NTP device to other devices. Okay, so let me just go back very quickly and just see if it's synchronized. Yeah, you see now it's synchronized. Clock is synchronized stratum 12 because it's getting the clock from router 2. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Please have a look at other videos and don't forget to subscribe. This has been Astrid Krasnici. Bye-bye.